So you might have seen that in the past day, Xbox announced their second ever developer direct set for January 18th. This of course follows their first developer direct from last year, where we saw titles like Redfall, Hi-Fi Rush, Forza Motorsport, Minecraft Legends, and SO Necrom. This year's developer direct is set to be even better, with a lineup of games that, in my opinion, will really take Xbox's offering to the next level. Now, I'm sure you've already watched videos from other creators about this news, like from my boy Matty. Unfortunately, being in Australia, the developer direct announcement dropped at about 2am my time, like with most games news, and by the time this video goes live, it'll be about 24 hours after the fact. This means I must try and offer you a point of difference here to convince you to watch the rest of this video. On that note, I would like to try and explain why I believe this year might be one of the best from an Xbox console exclusive perspective. We're going to look at Xbox's exclusives released in previous years and compare them to what has been confirmed for this year, analyze the developer direct announcement, and even see what PlayStation has on the horizon. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. Let's journey back to 2021, which of course was the very first full calendar year following the release of the Xbox Series X and S back in November of 2020. 2021 served as a pretty decent starting point for the Xbox brand in the exclusives department, with games like Forza Horizon 5, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Halo Infinite, and The Artful Escape, which had Metacritic scores of 92, 90, 87, and 80, respectively. Yes, sentiment for Halo Infinite soured gradually after launch, but to have three of your major IPs, Halo, Flight Simulator, and Forza, all have big releases in the first full year of your new console's life cycle with good review scores to boot serves as a solid starting point in my opinion. Moving on to 2022, I think most of us can agree that this was definitely a slower year for Xbox, which was only fueled by both Redfall and Starfield being delayed into 2023. We don't need to yet talk about how Redfall performed at launch, but at least at the time, it was still very much perceived as a bummer for a lot of Xbox fans wanting more exclusives. Nevertheless, we still received titles like Immortality, Pentiment, Vampire Survivors, Grounded, and As Dusk Falls, which had Metacritic scores of 88, 88, 87, 82, and 77 respectively. So across the board, not as high as the previous year and clearly missing some heavy hitting AAAs, but still some very unique and compelling experiences on offer. Then we have last year, 2023, which was absolutely a step up. Xbox started the year very strongly with the shadow drop of the critically acclaimed Hi-Fi Rush, in addition to releasing Forza Motorsport, Planet of Lana, and of course, Starfield later that year. These games had Metacritic review scores of 87, 84, 80, and 83 respectively. Now I know Redfall also launched last year, and especially on Steam, many people have soured on Starfield, but there is no denying that 2023 saw a healthier exclusive lineup for Xbox than the previous year, especially with more AAA heavy hitters like Forza and Starfield. Personally, I would still say 2021 edged out 2023, but still not a bad year by any means. And now we're in 2024. Of course, we have no idea what games are actually going to release this year. I have no doubt that Xbox has a surprise or two up its sleeve, which we currently don't know about. And you never really know what confirmed 2024 games are going to be delayed till next year or potentially beyond. However, let's just go off of what we know. Xbox has confirmed a number of exclusive titles to be released this year from both first party and third party studios, including Microsoft Flight Simulator, Towerborn, Stalker 2, and others. Then we have the games which are set to be shown off in the next Developer Direct, announced by Xbox this week. Avowed is by far at the top of this list for me personally. Confirmed as a 2024 release, Xbox announced that at the Developer Direct on January 18, quote, the team at Obsidian will share the first deep dive into the gameplay experience fans can expect in Avowed, their upcoming fantasy action RPG, set in the fantastical, vibrant living lands. Learn more about how Obsidian's expertise in building worlds with deep themes, dynamic gameplay, and thoughtful reactivity come to life in Avowed, where players will have the agency to make choices to shape every step of their adventure. Avowed has been a long time coming for many of us. Obsidian knows how to make really bloody good RPGs, and I am loving this emphasis on player choice in a lot of their messaging. Hopefully, we get a release date for this game at the event, 
but let's see. Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 will also appear at this event, which more than any other game is beyond in need of a release date announcement. We've already seen so much of Hellblade 2, but nevertheless, Xbox announced that at this Developer Direct event, quote, Ninja Theory take us behind the scenes at their studio in Cambridge to give us some insight on how they are crafting Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. The team will speak to the ambition and meticulous care involved in creating Senua's journey of survival. Admittedly, I think it's going to be a bit challenging for Ninja Theory to show us even more new content for this game, but I'm going to have to bite my tongue on that and wait and see. Then we have Ara History Untold, which is also set for a 2024 release. In the words of Xbox, we will quote, hear from the leads at Oxide Games, a studio founded by veterans of the strategy genre and the creators behind classic strategy titles, including Civilization V, as they unveil exclusive new gameplay and share more details about the inspiration, key features and road ahead for their upcoming historical grand strategy game. As someone who's never been able to get into the Civ games, this one is going to be interesting for me personally, but it's clear that the studio has the talent and expertise needed to make an acclaimed exclusive. But then the big one, Indiana Jones. I admittedly did not see this one coming. I thought the game was many more years off, possibly set for a 2025 or 26 release. So to see it slated for this year's Xbox Developer Direct is definitely very interesting. This might actually imply a 2024 release, especially if a leak from Insider Gaming is to be believed, which stated in a recent article that, quote, the new Indiana Jones by Zenimax Media will be released in 2024. Sources close to the game tell Insider Gaming. Though Xbox was very careful to not confirm this in their own press release. Either way, Xbox did say at the next Developer Direct that, quote, Machine Games, the award-winning studio behind the recent Wolfenstein series, will reveal their upcoming Indiana Jones game, an action adventure that puts players in the leather jacket of the legendary archaeologist. Developer Direct will showcase more than 10 minutes of game and developer insights, including details about the game's setting and story, how fans will actually play as Indy, additional details from his next globetrotting adventure, and the premiere of the first gameplay trailer. And finally, though this of course has not been officially confirmed, rumors suggest that we might actually have a shadow drop or surprise release emerging from the developer direct, just like we had with Hi-Fi Rush last year. This game could honestly be from anyone, but if I were a betting man, my money would be on Double Fine. And all of this isn't even mentioning the games, which might still be confirmed for a 2024 release at the likely Xbox Game Showcase later this year, nor any of the exclusives that Activision Blizzard might also have in store for us. Xbox themselves even stated in the Developer Direct press release that, quote, Please note that while this show won't have updates on games from Activision Blizzard, you can look forward to news from those teams later this year. Does this mean they're talking about exclusives necessarily? No, but it's something to keep an eye on nonetheless. So, if in 2024, Xbox does actually see the release of Avowed, Hellblade 2, Ara History Untold, Indiana Jones, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Towerborn, Stalker 2, and potentially even more titles, this year might actually be the best year for console exclusives in Xbox Series X and S history. The lineup has a really nice mix of smaller titles and AAA heavy hitters, especially Indiana Jones. The Xbox brand has long needed more big exclusive titles from major film studios to compete with the likes of Spider-Man on PlayStation. So if Indiana Jones is actually good, it's going to serve as a huge coup from Microsoft's acquisition of Zenimax Media. Though this is the sticking point with a lot of these games, right? They actually need to be good. No horrible launches, solid review scores across the board, and generally high sentiment from Xbox players in particular. Now, is it realistic to expect this? Well, definitely not with every single game. Naturally, as has long been the case in the games industry, there will be some missteps, some bugs, some games that just don't quite hit the mark. We cannot expect perfection here. But the point is that this year has the potential to be one of the greatest for Xbox if a solid majority of those releases do actually tick all the boxes. This is especially the case when you compare Xbox's exclusive slate for this year to PlayStation's, which is somewhat lacking compared to its own previous years. Last year was great for the blue brand, with releases including Marvel Spider-Man 2, Final Fantasy 16, Season A Letter to the Future, Viewfinder, and Humanity. 
But for this year, when it comes to purely confirmed releases, we have Helldivers 2, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Rise of the Ronin, Pacific Drive, Stellar Blade, and maybe some others. Now, of course, PlayStation will have their own new games to announce this year, likely at some sort of state of play. So we can't make a completely fair comparison right now. But at the moment, as a whole, I am currently leaning more towards Xbox's exclusives in 2024 over PlayStation's. Regardless, the point of this video was not to flame console wars. I love my PlayStation 5. I also love my Xbox games. All I wanted to emphasize is that 2024 is looking to be an incredible year for the green brand. And the funny thing, this video has only really covered new game releases. There will of course be a nice array of updates, DLC and expansions slated for some of your favorite Xbox exclusives. Starfield is set to get updates every six weeks starting February, with the release of their first DLC, Shattered Space, likely landing this year. A ton of Activision Blizzard games are probably going to fill Game Plus libraries as well, with Phil Spencer confirming that this will begin this year. Achievements have even been released for Hi-Fi Rush, suggesting that last year's critically acclaimed title is going to be receiving DLC sometime soon. Halo Infinite should also be getting its own updates too, likely with Season 6 and so on and so forth. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of Xbox's console exclusive slate for 2024? Do you think it'll live up to its potential? And how does it compare to PlayStation's? I can't wait to hear your thoughts. And until next time, this has been the Lone Bot Wanderer. Please take care of yourselves. And would you kindly keep fighting the good fight?